T equals S minus C over S. And I want to solve for C. All right, so let's begin doing that. All right, can we equal sign straight? All right, so I'm gonna get, I got division and I got subtraction in there. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, let's do something about the division. We are going to multiply both sides by S. S there. And I'm going to multiply this side by S. That way, these S will multiply out or actually divide out. And that's just going to leave me with S. Oh, got to help myself. This will be a subtraction. S minus C and S. P on that side. And keep in mind, I'm trying to get C by itself. Now, notice that I'm not subtracting the S. So I need to, um, this S is positive, so I'm going to subtract X from both sides. And while we have a zero pair there, nothing cancels here. So I'm just going to end up with S, P minus S equals to the only thing left on this side is just minus c all right so there are two ways to get c by itself in this case i could recognize that c that minus c is the same thing as a minus one c and if that's the case then i just divide everything by negative one i can actually kind of do it shortcut way that way and all that's really going to do is turn all my signs to the opposite. So those are going to go away. And I'll just let us see. SP divided by negative 1 is just going to be a negative XP. And a negative S divided by A and negative 1 is just going to be a positive S. So that's pretty much what my answer is. I'm going to simplify it a little bit. All right. So if you can see it at the very bottom, yeah, I think you can see it now. I can rewrite this as C equals to S minus SP. And that's the simplest way to write the answer. Okay. Now, I believe there's a part two to this problem. This is part A. So let me hold on to that 